Imagine a system where there are no intermediaries. Imagine a system where traceability and transparency are its two main pillars. Imagine a system where energy consumers are truly empowered by the system. This is all possible thanks to the solar blockchain. We want to revolutionize the way solar energy is crowdfunded, and we're going to do that through our own very much customized ICO. As you might have heard or noticed, most ICOs nowadays have been criticized for the lack of accountability or lack of transparency, mainly because of the anonymous identity of their sellers, their virtual value, of their currency that they sell, and they are often subject to speculation because they're linked to cryptocurrency that change value every day. We are providing verified identity of the sellers, which, lead to, which leads to transparency for New York customer knows to secure responsibility. We are providing tangible assets, which are the solar panels, which lead to security for validated documents. And finally, we're tying our token to a fiat currency, which means stability. This leads to um, overall accountability of our CEO through linking virtual value to real world tangible assets. <coughs> now you might ask yourself, why are we using blockchain? Well, we're doing that for five main reasons. I'm not going to focus on all of them, but there's a lack of trust between the parties that are acting in this system. There is a need for smart contracts to take care of potential issues that might arise in the system. I'll give you a really simple example. What if the solar panel company only installs 50% of the solar panels that it promised to install? So we have a smart contract for that. Everything is included in the smart contract. Everything is meant by the smart contract. So that everything that we do is covered by the smart contract. Come on, please go on and present you our system. Yeah. And we want to present you two things today. First of all is the demo for uh, the basis of the blockchain that we have uh, constructed over the last days. Which is really simple, the basis. So the residents of a uh, building want to put solar cells on the rooftop of the building. They agree to this, and by a voting system through the blockchain, if the voting is uh, done within the deadline and 100% accepts, the token is distributed, the shares are distributed, and everybody knows that uh, everybody is in favor of doing so much. Of course, we want to um, make this much bigger. Remember, 16% of the world population is without energy today. That represents 1.2 billion people, twice the size of Europe, or the entire population of Africa. So of course we need to bring in funds. We need to accelerate to scale up this solution to the energy access. So we do this by, of course, implementing the ICO that can provide money to it. Then we don't need, of course, any more the voting system because the money is the voting system, obviously. We will need also a manager that can bring in the legal dimensions of it, a paper contract that is connected through the Oracle, and of course, also, as mentioned, we want the security of paying uh, the uh, cryptocurrency to a euro. Also, the residents need, of course, to get rid of this, therefore, the access to the marketplace in order to sell their token if they leave the building or whatever, uh, is also uh, critical. Finally, we want also this to be much more connected. So we want, we want the smart, smart contract to send the money to the solar company that goes out and install it by a step-by-step -step process. Uh, we, uh, and in the end, they put up an IoT device that sends a signal that now the energy is flowing through the system. And then everybody in the uh, circle knows the funding has taken place and the energy is now flowing. So now we'd like to go back to the thing before is that the Demo. Sure. And the demo will show you on the piece of, of, of the solution. We are using Ethereum and the usual Ethereum development stack. We implement it in Solidity and it can be deployed on both private and public chains. So the piece of the solution that we are going to now show you in the demo is the voting part. So imagine there is a building owner. Okay, sorry. The building owner uh, deploys some funds into the smart contract um, and then he can start the campaign of voting. So the residents of the building each of them can vote whether they approve installation of the solar panels on their building. So, uh, like here, we see, like we change the house to the resident. The resident votes and approves the installation. And then, after a certain threshold is met, 
uh, like here, the solar panel company can withdraw the funds available and actually begin the installation. So this is the part of the demo. <coughs> uh, and that's all. So you mentioned that you, you are identifying your customers still using uh, was it public blockchain that you your case? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, from, from the uh, for the development purpose, we uh, use uh, our private desktop PC network, uh, but in principle, the solution can be deployed on either public or private Ethereum blockchain. But you say it's necessary to know where the customer is in this case. So it could only be a public blockchain. Um, what is the business model behind it? Because the you mentioned a lot of stake parties, and of course it's nice to yeah. give electricity to people, but how is that work? There could be multiple options. The one that we've been uh, looking for is that uh, the people that are investing in money is basically providing a loan to the residents, and they pay back uh, the loan plus uh, interest. So we're basically taking away the um, contribution fund and pension fund outside of the system. So we're basically working without third parties, which makes the entire system uh, more efficient, and this goes is beneficial to the residents and to the entire community. How is this different from the um, owners' association meeting at the general annual general assembly and taking a vote in you know the main lobby, uh, yeah. maybe with the variation that people can bid with different amounts? Well, one of the things we think it could uh, benefit is that it's some more simple. And it provides the basis for people to take their own initiatives without doing so much of the work. So, and we've got out, of course, also the bank. But in order for people that just can't say they want this, they want a solar panel on the roof, they take in the system, they don't have to check who's paid and build it up from scratch. They have a final offer, a final solution that is ready to go. So, what if there are two uh, two votes, one on uh, solar panels on the roof and the other one on roof, roof renovation during the same time, and they both get uh, threshold funding? What's the question? Well, the, the residents won't, well, they, if they agree on making one thing, I assume that they will... You just said they agreed on both. Huh? You just, I thought the whole point was that this is a smart contract, so they actually, by definition, defined and agreed on both. In the smart contract, you have the option either to approve or not approve a particular uh, suggestion. So if more than 10% approve this proposal, then it's implemented. I mean, if you want to vote for another proposal, you have to deploy another smart contract and vote for that. I this will require several smart contracts within the system. Last yeah. yeah. question. Just the, 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 the data is different is also that you can actually sell your share, which you wouldn't be in the, in the other. It would be possible to withdraw if you don't approve with the uh, uh, consensus agreement. You can actually get out. Which so provides okay. flexibility. <coughs> can you make a more direct link between giving 16% of the world population the ability to have electricity and your product? No, you, you, cannot, you cannot make the link directly. You right. can accelerate growth and you can uh, enable direct action for people who want a choice in, uh, in renewables. Perfect. So you can, yeah. Good. Yeah. How do you make sure the solar panel company doesn't just draw the funds and run away? By step by step procedure. So, for company. example, they could get 50% first, then it it's installed and uh, this is approved at the register. Thank you very much.